Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Dead, and this is episode 125 of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. <laughs> oh, look at that square moon on the rise, square sun on the set. <laughs> awesome. So, I got a few plans today, and I kind of prepared a little bit of an area well i didn't really prepare it i kind of did but i didn't <laughs> you'll see you'll see um check it out okay oh man i love this view especially at night and you can start seeing the areas that i've worked kind of light up that is awesome except for that area i never put any lights over there <laughs> apparently uh or this area so um, what I'm going to do is, I probably should have slept before I took off, um, I took away the tree farm. Like, I really need to completely redo it because it was, it was set up for uh, my dire wolf factory. And I have everything uh, shut off for the dire factory right now and I'm trying to move all the stuff that's in the refined storage system there to my underground base. <laughs> and I'm currently doing that right now. Let me show you. Uh, it's, I hooked up an, uh, a network receiver. Uh, I did the wireless transmitter just so I could control G and see what's in here. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still got tons of stuff in there, but I got three exporters uh, feeding into an ME interface and just look at the stuff go. They all have their uh, stack upgrades, speed upgrades, and I took like the first three rows of items that were in the refined storage network and put them all in here and it's just ripping through. <laughs> uh, so yeah. That's going pretty good. I mean, check it out. Uh, well, these are going to be like the hardest ones right here because there was almost, there were 2 million. <laughs> I think the, the barrels were like full for those uh, and they had been destroying them. Uh, so that's going to take a while. Um, yeah, but that's just going to be running in the background and stuff. So... Cozy cottage. Uh, what I want to do today is I was thinking that I could get blood magic over here, okay? I could start some blood magic and get it going. And I know there's a lot to the blood magic, so I kind of put some breaks in the wall where I can spill out into these areas uh, with various stuff and things. <laughs> if if necessary because uh, uh, I know there are tons of rituals and stuff for blood magic and I want to be able to do that so um, I got a couple of recipes here for us to do but first like I played with blood magic some in recently sort of in my ocean block uh, and I, I thought that was pretty cool and stuff, uh, but it, I haven't played with it in months, so I'm going to go ahead and make the book. Plus, in Ocean Block, we had a quest book to help guide us sort of through getting started on Blood Magic, and we don't have that here, so we're going to need the book <laughs> to figure things out. So I got the, the recipe here. Um, Cool, so I don't even have to do that. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. Sanguine Scientium. Bizarre. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to Blood Magic. A lot of stuff isn't yet implemented, so please excuse our dust. Click here to get started. If you find any bugs, please report them on our GitHub. Here's getting started. 
Blood Magic 3's progression is still being reworked. And the first few steps are significantly different from Blood Magic 2's. We are still retooling our guidance, but we are waiting until the progression is locked down. In the meantime, here is a quick overview on how to progress in Blood Magic 3. The first step of Blood Magic is to build the Blood Altar. Yes, yes, I have the Blood Altar recipe right here. Ooh. Um, oh yeah, so 50G, Blood Magic Altar, um, yeah, we need a furnace so we can do that, and a boot. Huzzah, we got our Blood Altar, uh, <laughs> um, and Sacrificial Knife, uh, I do believe I had, okay. I didn't know if it was the Dagger of Sacrifice or the Sacrificial Knife, so I put both of them on there, right? Uh, sacrificial Knife. Oh, I keep... Sacrificial Knife. Doot. Doot. And a jute. Uh, so, yeah, we got that. Bing, bang, bada boom. Um, <laughs> that's how you start it. Okay. Uh, what, let's see what else it says. Um, use these to generate LP life points from self-sacrificing. So we're poking our finger and getting some blood. Uh, maybe it's if we need lots of blood, instead of just poking our finger, we might like slice open our palm and let the blood drip down into the altar. Uh, use this LP to craft a weak blood orb several blank slates and a few soul snares okay so i knew about the orb and the slates but uh soul snares is something they just added <laughs> uh i did use it in uh, ocean block but it's still kind of new to uh blood magic me um so Let's do this. Uh, I got some blank slates up there, but I did not do the orb or the snare. So, weak blood orb. Here it is. Weak blood orb. And then snare. Soul snare. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Um, let's do this. Okay. All right, so now we can hit G and get our weak blood orb. It just takes a diamond and 2,000 life points. So let's get the diamond. I do love being able to scroll wheel out of the ME network. <laughs> that is awesome. And this takes um, 500 life points to make a soul snare out of the screen. Um, we may want more of those. Uh, let's just get some screen. So, um, I don't know. Let's do like eight to start off. I can make more than that if necessary later. Whatever. Okay, so what else does it say? We got another page. Okay, Alchemy Table Tier 1. Alchemy Array Tier 1. What else is there? Hellfire Forge. And then there's Tier 2. Let's not look at Tier 2. Let's just stick with uh, Tier 1 for now. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is different. Um, Alchemy Table. So I wonder, can I... It would be really cool if I could, um, you know, if I shift click, it opens the recipe, but I, I kind of wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to mark that, so, the table, uh, there it is, so let's get that added, and then that was at the Hellfire Forge, Hellfire Forge, uh, this is something that I haven't with. <laughs> uh, that is completely new. I know I've used the alchemy table before in previous ones, but I think the, the Hellfire Forge was like further in, uh, if I remember right. <laughs> so, 
So let's just get to, oh, wow, that is way off. Huh? Huh? Eh? <laughs> what? Uh, what did you just do? Okay, so here and there. Right? Okay. Oh, ouch. Um, another thing I could do is get my heel ready so that I can and then just um <laughs> yeah the I think the creator didn't want you to be able to use like healing things um until you get to you know the ritual stage where the ritual can you know do the healing for you Yeah, that's just cheating, in my opinion. Okay, now look, it looks pretty full. Uh, so let's throw our diamond in there. I think we'll have, uh, can't see. There is a way to be able to see it. Can I, there we go. <laughs> it's not throwing it down. You have to actually right click on it. Um, let's see. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, and look, it just turned. Nice. Um, oh, it's not time yet. Yay. And then uh, we have to right click it to bind it to us. Um, I'm not going to throw it in there yet because it can store uh life essence in there uh, but what i want to do is get another one of these uh strings i think will it put one in there yeah okay now we can probably sleep now i got string in the way you go there Oh, look, there it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta have, what, an empty hand? Be able to take that out. All right, um, let's kind of look at the book again. Um, the alchemy table uses LP from a player's soul network drawn from the bound blood orb in it to craft various different objects such as arcane ashes, regents for sigils, anoint anointments, and two times ore processing. What? If you can process ore in that, that is so cool. And various other odds and ends. I, I'm just saying that because a lot of the magic mobs or mods don't allow you to process ore or double process for um like uh i know ours magica used to have a way to double or uh but it doesn't look like ours nouveau kept that um in their uh remake of it so it's cool to see that a magic mod will allow you to uh double your ore Look at that because <laughs> uh, that's much cooler than you know just putting it into a machine uh, i would like to just see the mechanics of it and see what what it looks like and stuff and i mean does it really double the ore um like it did before or is it only like the 1.3 that it is now that fortune changed everything uh, so yeah, it looks like we may want to get this alchemy table. Oh no. Um, an alchemy array <clears throat> is made by placing some arm arcane ashes on the ground. The alchemy array can have two items inserted into it via right button and will either craft an item such as a divination sigil 
or perform some kind of function, such as turning day into night. What? Or will it be night into day? Be cool. Um, and then the Hellfire Forge crafts using Demon Will. Get your first will by using soul snares through upgrading to a sentient. So upgrading to a sentient sword is recommended. The hellfire, okay, the uh, the sentient sword. I did not put that on there. Uh, sentient. So definitely, but uh, to do that, sentient sword. Um. The Hellfire Forge is used for stuff directly related to demon will, like tartaric gems and sentient tools, and consumables like explosive charges and throwing daggers. Okay, so um, we're definitely going to be dealing with will, you have to, so we may need a Hellfire Forge, and we're probably going to need that alchemy table as well. So we got that, and we got that to start out with. Let's kind of look at, uh, I know the Sentient Sword, it looks like you need to have the Hellfire Forge in order to make this. Uh, so it looks like it takes uh, a Petty Tartaric Gem and an Iron Sword. Uh, but what does, what is that? Oh, okay. So you just put those in and put some demon will in there. And you can get your petty tartaric gem. Okay. Uh, we might want to. As well. So we definitely want uh, the Hellfire Forge. Uh, oh, look. We'll have to make at least one blank slate to get our alchemy table. Uh, and the slate is a thousand with um, a stone. <laughs> I think it's any stone. Um, so let's just grab some stone. Oh, look, it's uh, not even on there. There's so much stuff. There it is, all the way at the bottom. Okay. So let's get one in there. We probably have a uh, thousand LP in there. Oh, it's already turned. Wow, check that out. Okay. Um, so alchemy table. Boink. Done. Oh, yeah. So where do we want this? Um, we got a good wall over here. Oh, oh it turns. No. Oh, that's on heel. I'm trying to mine things. I'm like, why isn't this? <laughs> why isn't this mining it? It mined out the dirt underneath. And then uh, what happened to my dirt? Oh, it's still there. Boink. Uh, so I guess maybe I want it like that. There, yes. It's too wide. I believe this is nine, so it's not going to exactly be centered. Whoa, look at that. Uh, so, but in order to use that, you have to have uh, blood in your network and you put your orb here and stuff. But we don't have any in our network yet. So, it's no good. <laughs> um... Dude, I would love to get some automation for the slate. Because to me, the slates, um, the slates are the hard part. It's not really hard. It's tedious to stand here and have to make, uh, you know, 16 slates <laughs> or 32 slates. Uh, and then you got to turn those slates into other slates like, the blank slates and then there's reinforced slates which take the blank slates and then there's imbued slates which take the reinforced slates so it can just build up very quickly <laughs> you know so 
I would definitely like to come up with some way to get that automated. But what else do we need? We got our alchemy table. Um, and we need this Hellfire Forge, which takes another blank slate, which isn't a big deal. So we'll just do that. Oh, dude, I'm going to break a block way over there now. Because I keep doing the thing. There we go. Ah! All right. Let's make... Help our forge. Ooh, we're missing a block of iron. I can't believe I don't know how to make it. Okay, um, let's just put this little guy right there. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Um, excellent. Um, I would definitely, I think, um, can I just get like a chest, a diamond chest that would work. Okay. So we put a diamond chest here, mm -hmm. throw our stone in there, we get a node. Uh, I don't think we need that because I'm only going to have one node here. <laughs> um, so basically, I want it to uh, extract the stone from this chest. Uh, I can do that. So, west, here's the item card extract. Extract, but I want to use a filter. So it only gets the stone. Um, it, uh, well, I mean, yeah, let's just filter it, uh, to do the stone first. We'll change it later if we need to. Give me the stone mm -hmm. back. <laughs> there. Um, so it can now pull stone out of this chest. We can come over here. I don't know if this will directly insert oh look at that it already did it uh insert um so now we have to tell it to extract the only the uh finished product the slate extract uh oh i need a filter And since it doesn't have anywhere to put it, it's not going to pull it out yet, I don't believe. Um, do, 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 I, do I need more shoes? Oh, it may have... Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh. It may have put more than one in there. It did. <laughs> okay, so I need to <clears throat> specify uh, one transfer amount. All right. Why did it? Oh, I must have gotten to a new food. Ah, oh, the plate of shepherd's pie. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so if I throw this in there, will it only take one? Oh no, it's still putting it in there. Okay. Why? Um, I guess I could use a counting thing, uh, 
to insert into here a counting filter. A counting filter. Um, maybe if that will work to insert and only to keep like uh, 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 one <laughs> in there, right? Maybe that will work. Search. <clears throat> you gonna work, buddy? Oh yeah. Okay. Now we got it. We got it going. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. And now we need to. Uh, Oh, and it already put another one in there. Oh, that's so good. Uh, so now we want to teach him to extract the blank slate and insert. Ha ha. That is pretty cool. Now that's just the basic one for the blank <laughs> slate. Um, I'm not, uh, I'll probably go ahead and redo this, uh, that is so cool. Easy peasy, right? Um, I need to be able to shut that off though, because <laughs> I don't have enough. have enough blood in there just yet to keep that up uh, so this will be uh, I think can I put a lever on the altar to have it stop working I don't know No. <laughs> um, I guess once it gets down to that last one, it won't do anything. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> we got uh, the basics going. We got a tiny bit of quasi automation. Uh, <laughs> Once we get more blood in there, it'll finish doing it. I need to figure out a way to shut this off and on so that it's not just continuously going. Like it's it's shut off right now because it won't finish it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, next time, hopefully we can get some more into blood magic and maybe get to here too. Um, the tier two mm -hmm. altar will will have to get some of these blank runes, which is just more stone and a blank slate. Uh, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, what I might be able to do is okay. So I prepared a little bit because I want to be able to. Since I have an AE system, I want to hook it up to it. So I brought a quantum ring. <laughs> it's already set up. It's hooked up into the system. Um, I just use that to verify that it's working <laughs> and that it has power. Uh, so yeah, um, I can hook uh, like the chest up to the ME network and have it read the contents of that so that I can then make uh, recipes using ME, using the stuff in this chest without having to empty the chest and, and put everything in there. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.